why is it that in my extra special formed equipment of Vortex that I approved, um, I have a very real meeting with someone across my kitchen counter, uh, in the 6-9 that would be, right, I mean, we did it as a... Uh, background drop, if you will. If we're doing like a scene in a movie, it was the 69 West Row Boulevard, Patchogue, New York, 11772, Old Mayor's House, before I actually got to that physical location. We did a whole lot of S T I N G, Sting, O P E, I'm sorry, O P S, operations. Um, I met with a whole lot of people, and we did the lunar and uh, solar crew on the window that uh, changed. Uh, so this way, um, my pairing, P-A-I-R-I-N-G and P-E-A-R-I-N-G, would be proper. Uh, since for some reason, on this journey to Earthling... Uh, my cuneiform human is never formally introduced to anyone. F-O-R-M-L-Y. I have formal invitations and interviews within Vortex equipment, but on the boots on the ground of Vortex, my daily day life, I'm never formally introduced to anybody. Why is that? Because this is a physical form that I wear as a cuneiform human. I call you day labels. So you day label somewhere else. But I can't get my formal day labeled Citadel representatives in front of my formal Citadel cuneiform human. There's Vortex interviews and sting ops with us in computer software somewhere. But those have been picked through imagery and then written about by the government and governing problems of countries outside of U.S. America that I never gave permission to use a vortex system. They never had permission to use any, tor so, any kind of equipment, not to the moon, not a rocket, not a chemistry experiment, not even to use a pen and piece of paper. And they're definitely not allowed to use keyboards and make papers inside with symbols and numbers of any kind. They are to use their naked, N-A-K-E-D, human day label, that their parents gave them, and zero, Z, zilch, zeta, Z, zilch, zero. Get it? Nada, in Espanol. They are not allowed a single utility, meaning clothing, do not put clothes on and say that we have an agreement. Because my Citadel formal that I agree to speak with inside Vortex, I gave them permission because my Vortex script does not change. I am very clear with my words when I look you in formal eyes in Vortex, no matter what the backdrop looks like, because you know we can pick up locations and... I want to say teleport, but then that gets tricky with, like, well, how do you do that? Yeah, well, it's a GUI interstellar system, so it's like a GUI machine where whatever your parents birthed, I could pull up your human script of what you would, would say if we were together, and we could put it in any physical location while I'm living in this universe with you. Same with Niklaus. So that's where the scariness of, I don't want a single one of your anything inside my SS. I have an SSIA. That's what I'm calling it. It's a SIA. Because I have a Russia, which is RU, and then I have a RUZA, R-U-Z-Z-A. 
and the government of Russia seems to be a little confused as to my vernacular since they speak Krillic. And I don't know what form of English they speak because it sounds like they're speaking Mongol and Charlie and his chocolate factory and not my Ruza. So I have an SSIA. It's part German. It's part Russian. It's Polish. It's French before they had the invasion of the Moroccans. It was Spanish before they became Central American. And it was... Where else am I missing? Italian before the Vietnam assholes decided they wanted to relocate without permission. Oh, and it's also Greece, but Greece before it was Afghanistan. So, did I clear up what my skin looks like? Because I do, I know the Polish guy that I met at 16, like the really scary guy, but I, like, I really liked him. Um, him, he has ice blue eyes, which is wonderful. I'm just not attracted to ice blue eyes, which I tried to tell him. Uh, Hitler has like a Auburn, like a, um, I say orange, because they're very unique and beautiful to me. Um, but I prefer staring in his color eye than my own, which is blue. Which is how you know when I come to be cuneiform human, if the other humans are fucking with me, it's I'm married to two blue-eyed guys. Oh, hello, because that should never fucking happen. And not like dark brown, like Joe Carrillo has like really dark brown, no white in it whatsoever. Uh, yeah, that's also a no-no for I should not be married and cloning with anybody. There's a very specific, gooey, like, GUI cuneiform. It's just one. It, we thought it was easy. We named ourselves the same. Um, Nicole, he's Nicholas, Nick Klaus. Uh, depending if you're in Russia, they like the K. You're in America, whatever, it's a C, because Krillic likes something just a little different. So, but it has in Druidic and symbolism, the K works because it's a K system coming down. It's a timing mechanism. Uh, when you put it to the side, it means that our lives are off in a really dangerous way of you've got one section making themselves really wealthy and, conf and, and gaining power in ways that they never should, uh, messing with the vortex, and then you've got others being forced into the dirt, and the people at the top don't give a shit about the people at the bottom, because they just want to keep control, keep control, keep control, and confusing people, and then the life of everybody else gets worse and worse and worse, and now I've got threading between the two, where the top of the China dynasty, of the China closet that keeps fucking with me, my real life, picking through my vortex, my words, my vernacular, and trying to then thwart and jam up real law enforcement for the other cuneiforms that look like me that I already approved because every time, I mean, first of all, I don't even remember the China closet uh, coming into my vortex because they can't get a ticket to be approved to use such equipment. Um, and if they have, it's because they cloned a second vortex, which is where the real problem is because they're hiding sex rooms with a cloned version of you and they're just popping up, and it's very real. It's just the you that walks around the same lifetime uh, doesn't know that it exists, but you might feel a little off, and they can torture you in ways that when you wake up... And these are all humans, by the way. These are not... Because I'm an extraterrestrial, and my sting operation that looks like me, the racists, yeah, the ones that you fucking hate walking around, yeah, we're trying very specifically to be genetically different than the rest of your labels, because we're trying to protect you from the Chinese who are picking through our very special technology and science and trying to convince everybody that they're the good guys. Yeah, okay, well, you say that you have this sweet light taste of, of, of three as a cat, and then you eat cats, like the domestic kind. It's like that. They try to sell you a ledger because you see how beautiful, oh, they're such wonderful people. No, they eat that cat when you leave. So why would you allow them to outgun and have a better protection and force than my white people who are trying to protect the science that keeps all of you safe and living here? That they are very really very intrusive and keep locking and jamming me up because they're afraid I'm going to send a nuclear fucking bomb up their ass, which they deserve. 
but I've got bigger issues like the people trapped in space and time holes that they're raping during the evening and day that are also walking around in day labels confusing everybody how they got to that level. Yeah, it's because you won't let my fucking police force that I vortexed human for to get to where we need to be. Because now there's a confusion over, well, who's she going to protect and who's she not? Well, let's put it this way. Anyone that looks like me and Nicklaus, oh, you are for sure protected in Vortex systems. The rest of you, I got to get the fuck out because I have real lockdown that I have to do. So now who's crazy and who's not? Because I know it exists. The language seems to be confusing the carnival people in, well, but I want government rights. And you do? Great. Yeah, I wanted government rights like a thousand years ago before this all existed. Uh, and you were all easy to police. Now you've let all of the animals out of their cages. They're on your lands and you're like, what do you mean I can't shoot them? Why can't I shoot them? Well, because you gave them pens and paper and you allowed them to have thoughts and ideas. Then you changed the laws of your own people. And when they came over, they're like, freedom! And now you're like, wait, why can't I shoot them? Well, because you changed your laws, and now you're